Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is something that I've actually been loving watching recently and that is going to be a Sunday reset routine. So I see these all over TikTok and YouTube and I do typically do a my own kind of version of a reset routine. So I wanted to share with you guys what I do. First step was of course making the bed and sometimes I'll wash the sheets on Sundays but actually I've been loving doing that on Mondays just kind of taking one less thing off of my plate to do on Sundays because sometimes it gets really overwhelming. But I did already work out this morning, so the first step on our Sunday routine is going to be to shower. We had a bubby join us. Hi, bubby. Kai in here with me now. <laughs> but anyways, I did already work out this morning, so I'm gonna shower. I need to wash my hair. I actually wore it curly for the first time in a long time, at least in 2023. I wore it for the first time curly. So I'm gonna shower and do a blowout today. So that is first up on the agenda is to basically just get clean. And this will be a the shower routine that I do pretty much once a week, sometimes twice a week, which is like full body scrub, shaving, and sometimes it includes self tanner, but I did actually do that last Sunday. So I will not be doing that today, but that's usually a every two weeks Sunday reset activity. So anyways, let's get started with our shower. relaxing and before I do skincare I'm actually gonna just hop right into body care since I did just shave I really want to make sure that I lock in any moisture so I'm gonna start off with my Bath Body Works Aromatherapy Stress Relief Essential Oil and just put that all over my body and I use this like not sparingly it's the opposite of sparingly I use a lot of this so definitely be generous there it is be generous with how much you're using because um, in this case a little does not go a long way with the oil Honestly, to feel super moisturized, you have to use a lot, in my opinion. And just because I did shave down there today, I am going to put on my Bikini Zone Medicated After Shave Cream with lidocaine in it. I really love this stuff, but honestly, I still get razor burns. So if you guys have a suggestion on what I can use to not have razor burns anymore, let me know. Um, I'm really considering getting the fur oil, but it's so expensive for that little bottle. If you guys have tried it, let me know if it's worth it. Okay, now that we've done all that, I'm ready for body lotion. I'm gonna be using Strawberry Pound Cake today. I've been absolutely loving this one for the springtime. It is so yummy, and I did not realize how much I was missing it over the past year, because um, I really haven't had it since it came out in body care, I think the first time with the bake shop. So oh, it is just such a lovely gourmand strawberry scent. And as you guys can tell, I'm really adoring strawberry scents right now. I used one in the shower too. So it's just, it's the vibe right now. It's so yummy. All right, I'm going to transition into some clothes. I'm thinking I'm gonna wear this bodysuit that Ryan got me and I've been dying to wear. So let's hop in the closet and get dressed. Okay, here is said bodysuit. It is green and 
the full length has little slits on the legs. And I think it's actually cold today. So I'm gonna pair this with a sweater on top just because I don't wanna be chilly. I think I'm actually gonna try this sweatshirt on top and see if the two greens go together. They might not. So we'll just try it on. Okay, I've got the bodysuit on. I love the back of it, but like I said, it's cold today. So we're gonna try it with the sweatshirt on top. What do we think? Are the two greens too different? Okay, I had to back you up so you can see like the full fit, but I think it's really cute because honestly the bodysuit just looks like green leggings and my green sweatshirt, so I think it's adorable. Okay, and before we take the hair down, I am gonna do my skincare. So starting off, I will do my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA BHA Pore Tight Toner. This stuff is so, so good. Honestly, it is the thing that changed the texture of my skin. Before I used this product, I don't think my skin had a texture. It was just regular, I don't know. Um, and I am using a gua sha every day, actually, guys. This is new for me. Uh, so I do five swipes each side of my forehead. But yeah, that um, Watermelon Glow toner is a lifesaver. It has made my skin so much brighter and smoother and oh, it's just amazing. And then I'm taking the gua sha like an eraser basically on my forehead lines um, about five or 10 times. Now I'm gonna take my ordinary caffeine solution under my eyes and then do the gua sha under there. And then I'm taking my Mary Kay vitamin C solution and putting that on my face. This also helped with um, evening my complexion. Um, I really like where my skin is at right now. I used to have cystic hormonal acne and it's come a long way, honestly, mostly because of changing birth control, but the rest of the way, glowy and tight pores and really no more uh, pimples is thanks to my skincare. So I just went along my cheekbones. You can like even see there's red lines where I went. Um, and now on my jawline. Okay, going in with my moisturizer from The Ordinary. This is just like the most simple, basic moisturizer I could find because I was, I feel like doing so many things at once with my skin that I just wanted to give it a break when it came to moisturizer. And that last step after my moisturizer has kind of sat for a little bit is my sunscreen. I use the Innisfree Daily UV Defense Sunscreen SPF 36. I do like it. K-Beauty sunscreens, I think the best. And then of course my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask on last. And then we'll move on to the hair. Okay, so for hair, I like to just brush it first, of course. And then I have some staple products that I wanna share with you guys because these are my absolute favorites. Nothing has changed, honestly, since my last shower routine. So if you've seen that, you've seen it all. But first step is Living Proof Dry Scalp Treatment. And I put this along the crown of my head and behind my ears because that is where I get the most um, dry, flaky scalp. Um, I used to have dandruff for a while when I was a kid. And then I had um, psoriasis on my scalp. And I am prone to eczema and psoriasis whenever I'm super stressed. So I haven't had a flare up in a while, which I'm so grateful for. But if you have flare ups, then that is honestly a lifesaver. And then the JVN Air Dry Cream. I really can't tell if this does much for my hair, but I'm gonna keep using it. I, I honestly can't tell you if it does much though. So don't trust my word on this one. I just was influenced to buy this one, honestly. And then my Olaplex number six bond smoother. This is like my leave-in conditioner. I like to put a leave-in conditioner every time I wash my hair. And then the last step is a hair, well, it's called a hair serum, but it's an oil. <laughs> and I put this on my ends just really to prevent them from getting dry, especially whenever I go to do my blowout. I wanna keep my hair nice and healthy. Okay, so I'm gonna part my hair with this little rat tail comb. And then I usually like to let my hair dry a little bit before um, blow drying it, just because the less heat I can use on my hair, the better. And blowouts honestly do look better on like 80% on 80% dry hair. So I'm just gonna part this and I'm gonna go do some things that help me prep for the week ahead. 
So the first one being editing some videos. So I need to edit the videos for this week. So that includes my Monday vlog and then whatever videos I have going up on Wednesday and on Thursday. So I'm just gonna go and edit for a little bit and then come back and do my hair. Okay, so while I've been sitting here, I also thought, let me go ahead and show you guys my planner that I use for the week. So I've started using the Notion app and you can also use it on your computer. So I'm gonna show you my computer and show you kind of how I plan out my week content wise and then just like regular, regular planning. So I do have a calendar, but this is my personal laptop and I created this mood board for 2023 for myself. And if you guys want me to go through this, just let me know. Um, I plan on doing a April plan with me for the next couple of months, it, starting in April. So I will definitely do that later. But if you guys want a little overview of my like goals and vision board for 2023, just let me know. So I have a weekly planner and then a weekly content planner. I created that one myself. But for the weekly planner, I have a habit tracker right here. And then down here, I have some to-dos for the week. So this past week, I'll go ahead and clear up these to-dos. So I'm gonna go into my content planner. So this one I have kind of split up. So I'll show you this past week. So I have it split by month and then by week. There you go. And then here is all the whole week uh, planned out for my different videos for the week. So in YouTube, I post three times a week. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Instagram, I try to post every weekday. Same with TikTok. I kind of didn't do that for TikTok this past, this week, but I still posted five times, which is what my goal is. So I usually will plan this out on Sunday and then kind of adjust it throughout the week. It's never really the exact same as what I planned, but I try to be pretty close to it. Okay, I've pretty much filled up as much as I can. So here's a little reference and I do put check marks once I post stuff and a heart when stuff is already like scheduled and ready to go and captioned and has all the hashtags and stuff. But here's my inspiration for the week. I'm gonna do two like face picks and then something with a hair care product, I'm not sure what yet. And then I do like to put um, my Insta stories, like I like to put some fun stuff up on there, at least about like the coffee that I'm drinking for the week and say good morning to you guys. So I just have a few shots to remind me to do that. Um, for the morning so that is kind of me just doing my content planning for the week um okay now that that's done and i've properly just sat on the couch for a while i have to put away some of the dishes in the kitchen and i also need to put away some of the laundry and then we're gonna get to the hair finally and that will be our sunday reset Okay, we are back in my bathroom and I've got all the products. I have my Chi Iron Guard, which is my heat protectant. I have my uh, Color Wild Dream Coat. You guys, this stuff is magic. This makes such a good blowout, so definitely recommend this. And then I have this, what even is this? True Beauty, T-R-U Beauty um, blow dry brush. And then I have my straightener from Numi that I use to straighten my roots. As you can tell, my hair is curly wavy. These little baby hairs that I have that get super wavy and curly, like this little guy right here, so cute. But I'm sorry, you have to go.
Okay, so hair is done. And that was the end of my Sunday reset. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Just kind of like winding down and planning with me for the week. And that was a lot of fun to film, honestly. So let me know down below if you did enjoy. And thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.